the Bible said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, the mustard seed was chosen because of its size. The Bible said the smallest size of faith is equivalent to challenge the biggest mountain. That the antidote of mountains is faith. Hey, you don't cry before mountains. Mountains strive in your tears. As you are crying, the size of the mountain gets bigger. You know you roll on the ground and say, when will this thing end? Mountains require violence. Hey, he says, if you can say unto this mountain, say means command. It means there is a government you will represent before you can talk to mountains. Mountains don't move by negotiation. They move by authority. Before you deal with the matters of a mountain, you must go and make sure that you have met the legal side of your own spirituality. Make sure you are in right standing with God so that you can wield the powers of the kingdom because mountains only move by power. If you can have faith, listen, so it means, listen, I will show you this pattern over and over again in scripture that mountains don't answer to what you say. Mountains answer to who you are. There is a version of you that is permitted to be stopped. There is a version of you that is permitted to be stagnated. But there is another version of you that it becomes illegal to still stay on your way. And so when you grow to that version, the Bible says, now you say unto this mountain. Uh, the Bible did not say speak unto mountains. He said say unto this mountain. The, this mountain means you have been able to identify what is the pattern in this matter. You are not oblivious. Just praying and mist and say anywhere the attack is coming from. That anywhere is not a way to challenge mountains. If it's for mountain, you will be able to identify what is the challenge. When the Holy Ghost just shows you after, after an all night prayer, just praying and suddenly you saw the finger of that auntie. Hey, <laughs> what they have done is they've shown you just, there's a mountain they showed you. praying you're praying hey and i saw a neighbor many years back i saw a neighbor i saw her inside my parents bedroom in the visions of the night my head was just on my pillow like this that prayer as you are praying you don't know when you entered sleep eh? i just saw her she was inside the room opening their documents she was opening their documents and removing some documents you you wake up and carry that document you don't know that the spiritual essence of that document has been carried so even though you submit it anywhere they will never see it because as far as where it is necessary is concerned spirits have removed that document from you i saw i saw her removing documents hey you know what they did they showed me a mountain because when god empowers you he does not fight for you again you start fighting on his name all this lord come and help us God says, why are you there? Have I not made you like me? As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. Some of you, you become the portal, the channel, the router to communicate the vengeance of God for people. Darkness can prosper until people come into your space. The moment they enter, suddenly what was hidden will come alive. Hey, I got up. I, I got up from that encounter with, with tongues, tongues. It was tongues that woke me up because from that dream, you already know what was happening. This is injustice here. Somebody went to primary school, nursery school, secondary school, university. After all this stress, then another person say, you will not eat anything from that certificate. See how wicked the world is. And you, you are choosing not to be violent. You are just doing smesme. And the other side, they are so evil in their, in their initiative. Somebody has gone through all the stress of NDA and going back home after POP and then they kill him on the road. A mountain standing, insisting that nobody advance. A man must come with power. It will take power because if that mountain must be dissolved, remember, anywhere a mountain was, when God is through with that mountain, the place will become a level ground. But there will be a legacy to prove that here was not always a level ground. There was once a mountain. That was what it meant by the headstone. 
you, you will cut a path from the peak of that mountain and hold it as a memorial that once upon a time nobody passes this line they say nobody 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 can be great in that family when God blesses you keep a covenant to remind your children that it is not always like this there was a time where war was engaged that is how you raise a headstone and you know what you were, you were shouting you were crying grace 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 I did not get here by myself I did not get here by my own strength there was someone that fought this war for me crying grace grace unto it many of you the things that are up against you your strategies are, are, are childish before it and maybe it will take some time for you to realize that your effort is a waste you will need spirits to fight Why do you think, why do you think you would even manifest first? Let's just be honest with ourselves. Why do you think the nations will hear you? Can't you see how many spirits are hanging around your life? Can you not see how many times they make sure that your life cannot hit a level of stability spiritually? And they are doing this just to make you miss one season. The moment you miss that season, they will leave you. It is the season of your appearing. If that season is gone, they will leave you. Satan will not be on your case forever. Once you miss the, the fruitful years of your life, he will advance to fight others. You know the best time to go to war? Go to war now that you have strength. Go to war now that Satan is still fighting. And allow Satan to bring his best. Go to war and when you win, plant a flag there. Leave a memorial on that crown that there was a war that was fought here. And we did not become blessed by mistake. There was priesthood that sponsored our results. You, you know where you are coming from and you are behaving like another person who also know where he's coming from there are people that when they are born they are born into a level of you know financial freedom they don't have any stress in that regard you you know how many spirits are contending and you are living your life like that one no 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 there are realities I vow that it will die inside me the spirits that be are hoping that my life will continue it hey I trapped it inside. I used fasting to lock it down. It will not, if it is this body, you will not grow again. I have found out that the only way Satan can prosper is if a sin can be passed from one generation to another. You have found it in your parents. Your dad was a humanizer. Your mom was unfaithful. You are seeing that there is a tendency in your own body now. Refuse to allow that to germinate because your children can become victims. One innocent child can start fighting something that he does not know where he started from. So you vow, you vow. It's a seed, it's a seed. It's already inside you. Vow that it will not terminate. So I use fasting. I tame it. I kill my body daily. Because I know if I give it what it wants, there are tendencies that will find expression. And woe betide me that I allow Satan to enter another generation. Some of you, Satan is not on your own case again. Satan is only fighting now so that he can enter another generation. He wants you to meet another lady. He wants you to meet another guy so that in the corridor of iniquity, a child can be conceived. As soon as that child is conceived, tendencies and proclivities that he never knew where it came from will start finding expression in them. Refuse to allow the work of iniquity prosper. It's vengeance. It's, it's, it's violence on this matter. This is how you stop mountains. You stop them by time. There are things that are not wrong. There are things that are not bad. But because you are at war, you will not have the leverage to partake of them. There is no man that worried that entangled himself with the affairs of this world. So that he may please the one who has called him to be a soldier. I know I am at war. I know I am at war. I know that there are many prophecies that need my life to comply. So that the same thing can enter another generation. But I refuse. 
I refuse to allow Satan gain cause. 